It does. It certainly does. And it's hard to believe, like you said, that it's been that many years. All right, let's take a look at our comfort index for today. Keep it at a 7 out of 10. Most of us will stay dry, but there are a few showers out there right now and a few additional showers that will try to sneak on in here during the afternoon and evening time frame. But for the most part, nothing that you need to alter any type of outdoor plans for. Just bring the umbrella. Just keep it in the backseat of the vehicle just in case you do find yourself underneath one of these downpours. And first thing this morning, those of you south of US 30 need to use the umbrella as we commute on into a work and school for this morning and also use those windshield wipers. We're looking at some decent downpours right now from Francisville, Winnemac over towards Fulton, Rochester areas. We'll keep the mention here of a downpour between now and about 7 8 a.m. And some of this trying to sneak in between Argus, Rochester over towards Silver Lake, Warsaw, Pearson areas first thing this Friday. But for the most part, we're going to keep these rain chances all the way down to about a 20 30 percent for today. Day. So most of us going to have a dry Friday and a dry weekend with a few of us having a few of these scattered downpours hour by hour. The first alert weather future track at 7 a.m. Keeps a few of those downpours still south of US 30. And then as we go throughout the daylight hours outside of a stray downpour for one or two communities, most of us stay dry. And then as we head towards the evening, here we are paused at high school football time at 7 p.m. Future track depicting just a mix of sun and clouds. The wind picking up. It certainly will feel like a football Friday out there across Michiana, but watch what happens off of Lake Michigan and Northwest wind. That's going to lead to some lake effect rain showers, mainly west of South Bend, west of US 31 tonight towards daybreak Saturday and into Saturday morning. That's where we'll keep the mention here of a sprinkle or an isolated shower, maybe even a few water spouts along the shorelines there of Lake Michigan as we head towards Saturday afternoon. Do want to touch on our wind though. That's going to ramp up today out of the north and west gust at times could be around 30 miles per hour later on today and we'll carry this gusty wind into tomorrow afternoon as well. And I think the wind and the cooler air that's going to be the bigger impact for your Saturday, not the chance of some lake effect rain showers west of South Bend. And then by Sunday, we start to rebound those temperatures. We're back up to near 70 by Sunday. And then a big warm up headed our way, Christine, on our 10 day outlook. <laughs> we'll take a look at that coming up in first alert weather. I think we're going to have a few days next week in the 90s. Can I just cherish? This weekend, I am so ready for fall. I'm in the fall spirit. We got football. The Chiefs played last night. Like, there's no going back. Yeah, there's no going back. But unfortunately, the cool season's <laughs> it's coming not back. Over it's yet. gonna feel like mid-August. I next was week. thinking, will we have an advantage having a team come to us? Nope. 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 They're used to Illinois, it as well. Illinois, they are ready. Yeah. They are ready. Yeah. All right, Andrew. Thank you. Speaking of football, the college football season is back. Fans are getting ready for Notre.